This is the Stratomatic Baseball Excel 1973 Carryover League. Brought to you by the Shrimp Trawler YouTube channel. Welcome back, baseball fans, to the 1970-73 Carryover League. We are in the National League East today with a really good series between the Phillies and the Braves. We talked during the draft that, wow, they made some nice picks, both squads did, in this draft to gain some ground on the world champion New York Mets. And it has worked out for both squads in this series. It has been a boxing match, playing to their strengths, and we've played a lot of games here in a best of seven, so let's run it down for you. What's going on? Opening up in Atlanta, game one. It's Wayne Twitchell versus Phil Negro. And it is a very tight, well-played game. You get individual runs by the Phillies in the first three innings. You get a nice two-run bomb by Hank Aaron, the Atlanta Bombers, the most des destructive team. Uh, but in the ninth inning, uh, you get Phil Nicker left out there a little bit too long, and you get an RBI in the ninth. It's four to two, insurance. And Twitchell beats Nicker in game one. So that's a good win for the Phillies, who really weren't very good in this era. The Braves were. Um, they just missed out on the playoffs. They went there in 69. They were the, they were the first team to win the National League West. Then they stumbled a little bit after that, but they're a great team. Game two in Atlanta, and do they even it up? And the answer is, well, of course. They win eight to seven, doing brave things. Um, you get a homer here by Earl Williams, a homer here by Rico Cardi. The Phillies rally in the ninth against the long man of Atlanta to put some window dressing on a game. It was eight to one, and they scored all these runs in the ninth, and then Mo Drabowski has to come out of the out of the clubhouse and get the final guy to strike out to end the game. Eight to seven. Phillies made it interesting there at the end. We go to re recently, we go to recently opened uh, Vet in Philadelphia for games three, four, and five. Pat Jarvis beats Barry Lursh seven, six. Them a tight game. Um, again, the brave power. Rico Cardi, three run homer. But you also have, you got some nice power on the Phillies. You got Cepeda with 34 homers, Johnson with Darren Johnson's got 34, Callison's got like 17. He has a two run blast here. The game's pretty much 7 6, and both, both bullpens do pretty well late, um, cobbling together uh, another Mojabowski save. It is 7 6, and now Atlanta takes a 2 1 series lead. We go to game four, and are we going to get the perfect home and away splits through four games? Of course we do, with the Phillies winning 5-3 to three behind Steve Carlton. Now, Steve Carlton, of course, had to pitch twice in the season opener series. So this is his first appearance here against an overmatched number four starter, Tom Kelly. Uh, much closer game than we thought. We thought, you know, Carlton should have walked all over this one. But 5-3. Phillies win, which leads, leads to pivotal game five in Philadelphia. And we're back to Twitchell Necro again, but both guys get knocked around. And again, it's the big bats. Ralph Gar to run Homer. We have a Callison triple here. We've got Homers by Tony Taylor, a three run bomb by Luzinski, a three run bomb by Hank Aaron. And, you know, both pitchers are allowed to pitch into the 6th and 7th innings because they want to save their bullpens, I suppose. And, and I guess Necro with a knuckleball, I allow him to pitch a little bit longer if he gets knocked around. Normally, a guy who pitches 7 innings should not be giving up 14 hits and 9 runs. But Necro was allowed to pitch through the 7th inning and where the wind was blowing out in Philadelphia, Again, oh, it's a 9-8 to eight final. 
and we're seeing that Philadelphia's offense is keeping up with the devastating Atlanta offense. Um, again, the Phillies have Darren Johnson, Orlando Cepeda, Greg Luzinski, Johnny Callison. That's some nice power in there. Not as good as the Braves, Baker, Gar, Cardi, Aaron, Evans, and Williams, but it's pretty close, and the Phillies have a better pitching staff. So the Phillies, surprise, I'm not going to call them Cinderella. They're, they're just a surprise team doing this well um, in this timeline. Uh, we know in 72 what happened to Steve Carlton and what the Phillies were doing when he, when he was not pitching. It wasn't very pretty. But we are back in Atlanta for a Game 6. Braves need to win two now. And in Game 6, for the Phillies, it'll be Pat Dobson... And for the Braves, it'll be George Stone. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, let's get started in game 106. Philadelphia at Atlanta, a game six of a best of seven. Terry Harmon will lead it off for the Phillies. 47 off Stone, pops the third. Tony Taylor, 59. Sky's the right. Orlando Cepeda, 6'10", third X. Daryl Evans, a 3-E-23 at third base. And he gives up a single defensively there. Now it's the dangerous Darren Johnson. 38 is a walk. Two on, two outs for Greg Lazinski. 3 is a low max with two outs. Bottom of one, Dusty Baker. 1-3, hit by the pitch. Ralph Gar, 1-6. Let's take a look at Ralph Gar's card again. You know, he only hits 325. Very disappointing card when he can hit 354 and 341 in some of his other seasons during this era. <laughs> but when you're drafting, you're like, give me the 325 because I got other guys in other years, and 325 is more than enough, and we'll eventually get that 354 going. But 1 6 is a double to center. Dusty Baker is a 16 runner, but you got Callison with a cannon in center field. They'll hold up at third for Rico Suave. 37 is a walk. Oh, boy. Base is loaded for Pat Dobson here in the first inning. Hank Aaron, 1-8. It's a 6-4-3 double play. Well, that helps. They get the run. They get a runner at third, but they also get two outs. Daryl Evans, 3-6. Let's take a look at it, folks. The 1973 Daryl Evans card. What is going on in the city of Atlanta, 1973, there is something in the drinking water down there. Everybody just demolishes baseballs, including this guy. This is gone. Two run blast in the first, and the Braves are up to a 3 0 lead. My goodness. Earl Williams, 5'10, pops to second. You know, Pat Dobson was a 20 game winner with his 1971 card with Baltimore and a 290 ERA in 282 innings. But you take a fish out of water <laughs> and you put him someplace else, it's going to be very hard to duplicate uh, those wins here in Philadelphia. Top of the second, it is Pat Corrales, 45. This guy's the center. Johnny Callison, 66. Double one of seven's a double. Larry Boa, 59. This guy's the right. And Wayne Comer, 39, is a single to center field. Callison, a 14 runner, 15, 16. Minus one has to run on a 15. Scores on a nine. And the plucky Phillies get a run with two outs. Back to the top with Terry Harmon. Two six, Terry Harmon. Double one to 13 is a single to dot. Runners on the corners with two outs for Tony Taylor. 38 is a sky to left. 3-1 Braves. Gail Hopkins, 57, is a K. Felix Mian, 56, flies a left. Mari Wills, 47, is a K. Thompson rebounds in the second. Top of the third, Orlando Cepeda. 1-8 is a sky to center. Darren Johnson, 3-10, is a walk. Greg LeBull Luzinski, 57 is a K off of George Stone's card and with two outs. Pat Corrales, 55, second C. Bottom of the third. 
Dusty Baker, 69, off Dobson. A single one to 11, he gets the single. Ralph Gar, 59, second C. Baker's now second for Rico Cardi. 3-6, single dot, runners on the corners for Hank Aaron. <laughs> and Dobson's like, well, who, what is this team I'm facing? Hank Aaron, 47 is a K, and with two outs, it's Daryl Evans. 46 is a K, Dobson punches two guys out with runners in scoring position there. Nice inning, nice finish there. 3-1 in the fourth, Johnny Callison. 42, flies the left. Larry Boa, 36, skies the left. And with two outs, Wayne Comer, 1-5, bounces a short. George Stone's been the story, though, with his pitching today. Bottom of the fourth inning, Earl Williams, 6-12, is a walk. Gail Hopkins, 59, is the second C. Runner goes the second. For Felix, you're putting me on. 47, is a K. No, we're not, Felix, not this time. And with two outs, it's Mari Wills. 3-6, grounds to second base. 3-1 game into the fifth. Terry Harmon. 4-10, pops to second. Tony Taylor, 38, flies left. I don't know who the Mets will be rooting for in this series. I'm guessing the Phillies, because they, the perceived threat is Atlanta, regardless of what the records would be. So Atlanta is extremely dangerous to the Mets' chances. I guess they'd be rooting for the Phillies. Looks like it's going to be tough here for the Florida Marlins in this division. Orlando Cepeda, 2-10, is single 1-15, to and he manages to squeak it in on a 15. And with two outs, it's Darren Johnson. 48 is a liner to short. All right, bottom of the fifth. But first, let's pause a moment for a station. Identification. This is the Shrimp Trawler video channel. Este es el canal de videos de camaroneros. Bottom of the fifth, it is Dusty Baker to lead it off. Two tens a single. Ralph Gar. 48. Double one off the Dobson card is a double on the one. Gar goes blazing around first base. And surprise everybody, sliding into second with a double. So you have second and third for Rico Cardi. 58 is a sack fly to right. Runner at second with one out in a 4-1 game for Hank Aaron. 38 is a base hit in a right field, the speedy Gar. 17 runner, eight, uh, 17 runner against who's in right field? No, who's in first? Uh, Wayne Comer's in right field with a minus one arm. He's going to take off on a 16, and he's thrown out on a 20 on the advance. My goodness, folks. Wayne Comer uh, only plays against lefties. Minus one arm. Just threw out Ralph Gard the plate. Well, actually, he was only given the opportunity to score on that play because of hitting a double one single. So you have to look at it that way. So you have two outs. Hank Aaron is at first base for Daryl Evans in a 4-1 game. 2-7, Daryl Evans saw the card earlier. Triple, one to five, single dot dot. It is another single dot dot. So we haven't scored anymore. We have a single, a double, and two singles. I've only scored once. Runners on the corners with two outs for Earl Williams. 47 is a K. The Braves may regret getting thrown out there so as not to boost their lead further. 4-1 into the 6th. It's Greg Lozinski. 1-9's a single. Pat Corrales. 2-8 is a 5. 4, 3, go play! And with two outs, Johnny Callison. 1-7. Let's take a look at John Callison's card. It is gone! 19 home runs and 540 plate appearances in 70. Uh, he's going to be playing the whole year in center field with a minus four arm. That should help the Philly, Philly pitchers. It was range isn't good as it is in uh, right field. But here, a solo home run, and we got a 4-2 game. Larry Boa. 1-5, grounds to short. All right, Dobson, bottom of the sixth inning. It'll be Gail Hopkins. 46 is a K. Gail Hopkins leaves the game as first base, and Hank Aaron, uh, Tommy Aaron, defensive replacement, 
chose to play first base. Felix Mion, 311, is a walk. Mari Wills is going to hit and run here. And it's a fielder's choice. Wills is a B stealer. Crowley's is a minus one arm though. Now you don't want to be stealing bases when taking the bats out of these sluggers' hands that Atlanta has. So here's Dusty Baker with a speedy Mari Wills at first base. One four is a fly to left field. We go to the seventh. It is 4-2. A nice ball game. Every ball game I played in this series between these two teams has been pretty darn fun and exciting. Um, George Stone is a starter seven. I don't think he can lose. He puts a couple guys on, we'll hook him. And we'll begin with Wayne Comer in the seventh. 5-10. Catcher's card. Earl Williams a 3-9. And mixed play. Terry Harmon. 42, rolls the first. And Tony Taylor. 56, short X. Uh, Mari Wills, a 319. He makes the play. George Stone, magnificent, through seven. Solo homer, another run. 4 2 lead. Stretch time here in Atlanta. We are listening to Atlanta legend Hank Mobley. 1969 LP, the flip. Wonderful stuff. Snapping out. Turn up a little bit there for you, folks. All right, bottom of the seventh. It's Ralph Gar. Dobson's a starter eight. Philadelphia's got a very good underrated bullpen there. All their relievers have ERAs of 250 and below. They match up very well with two lefties and two righties as well. Uh, Ralph Gar, 58. This guy's the center. Rico Cardi, 512. Flies the left. And Hank Aaron, 38, is a base hit. And here's the ever dangerous Daryl Evans, who is two for three with a home run. And I'm thinking we talked about matchups here. I think we're gonna pull Dobson after six and two thirds. He doesn't like it. He also lost his last start, but he's given up multiple hits in many innings here. And Against the lefty, Daryl Evans. We're going to bring Max Scarce. Comes in out of the Philly bullpen in the seventh. Face Daryl Evans. Key moment here. Two outs and a man at first. Pitch to Daryl Evans. 57's a K. All right, we go to the eighth, four to two. Now, the Brave bullpen is not very good. Trubowski is still closer quality, though. Susceptible to homers. McQueen can only get lefties out. Eddie can't get anybody out. Actually, Joe Horland is your really good quality setup guy as a righty who gets righties out. But frankly, George Stone is probably the best option. And again, once he puts a couple guys on, we'll hook him. So let's continue into the eighth of a 4 2 game. There's no more defense to bring in other than Tommy Aaron. So here is, in the top of the eighth, Orlando Cepeda. 4-10, lines a second. Darren Johnson, 6-11, short X. This is Mari Wills, a 3-19 at short. And he makes the play. And with two outs, Greg Lozinski, they really wanted to make noise in this inning where all their power hitters were because the bottom lineup is all singles hitters. Greg Lozinski, 1-6, let's take a look at the Bulls card. Not his rookie card. He had a card in 71, hit 300 with it, without homers. And here in 72, he has 18 of them, with a 281 batting average. And he's got 600 plate appearances, so it's a full season for the Bull. 1-6, homer 1-2, double. It's a double. And this is what the Phillies wanted, a chance to tie the game or win the series on the road. Pat Corrales, runner at second and two outs. Let's take a look at Pat Corrales' card. We were watching last year. Corrales was the backup catcher on the Mets. Got himself a World Series ring. Did pretty much the same thing. A minus one arm throwing catcher hits lefties well. He has power. Stone's got a homer on 6-4. The pitch to Pat Corrales. 55 rolls to second C. George Stone. Magnificent. George Stone actually was a Met in his 73 card, but the Mets have too many lefties. They can't, couldn't keep George Stone. 
because they had McGraw and uh, Kuzman and John Matlack. And so Braves scooped all over that. Uh, bottom of the eighth. Scarce continues. Mm, Earl Williams. 212, lines a third. Tommy Heron. 35, flies a left. And with two outs, Felix Mian. 46, yes, we are putting you on with a base hit to left field. B Steeler. Crowds with a minus one arm. Let's try a stolen base. Brace doesn't normally do that, but going for insurance here, and uh, he gets thrown out stealing barely. Corrales says a minus one arm, like we showed you earlier. So, it stays 4-2 into the ninth. Do you just go straight to Drabowski here? Remember, Callison's better against lefties and righties than he homered earlier, and is two for three. So because of that, we're going to hook George Stone after eight excellent innings. Go right to Atlanta's closer acquired in the offseason. Let's take a look at Mo Drabowski. He was a Baltimore Oriole in 1970 with this card. Would win the 70 World Series. We got a ring. But again, it's a lot of homers against lefties. Otherwise, he still, still has it. Mo Drabowski in the ninth against Callison Boa and a most likely a pinch hitter. John Callison leads it off. 1-9 is a base hit for the Sea Steeler. Now you got Larry Boa. Again, he doesn't have power, so Drabowski doesn't really have to worry about this guy. He's looking for a double play, the two-run lead. Boa, 45, second C. Well, Callison is at second, no longer a double play threat. And you got Wayne Comer. You're really, you're really looking for a pinch hitter. I have a hard time believing that they would go. To Mike McQueen when you it doesn't even end the game. Yeah, the Phillies are gonna bring with a two-run deficit, they're gonna have a lefty pinch hitter here because they know Drabowski's not gonna be lifted. Uh, and the best lefty. Well, we want a lefty to get some base. We'll go with uh, Ron Stone. We'll bat for Wayne Comer here in the ninth. Here's Ron Stone's card. Doesn't have power, but don't really need it here. Pitch to Ron Stone. 46 is a K. And with two outs, it's Terry Harmon who has power. Let's take a look at Terry Harmon's card. Has power, could hit the homer off the Drabowski card on 6 4. Has a lot of walks. So let's take a shot here with Terry Harmon. Runner at second, two outs in the top of the ninth inning. The pitch to Terry Harmon. 48 off Drabowski is a K. Drabowski's been perfect in save situations this year, and that will force a game seven. The Braves have won games two, three, and six. And Phil's have won one, four, and five. Been an outstanding series, folks. We'll show uh, the box score here and, of course, the results. At the end, Drabowski with a save. Hitting two Ks. Stone, another one in the series. Eight hits and two runs. They were earned. Walked two, struck out one. Scarce came on in, did well. Hitting a K. Tough loss for Pat Dobson. Got flustered early, settled in there. Nine hits and four runs. Four walks and seven strikeouts. Basically, holding the Braves to four runs should be considered a moral victory, I guess. 4 2 game. Another close game. Every game's been one or two runs. 101 9, 0108, 4 10, 2 9. 2 3, 4 8, 4 8, 2 3. We'll look at the year date stats for both squads. Six games in the books here. Boy, there are going to be some disappointed teams in the National League not making the playoffs. It is very competitive, and there are a lot of good. There's more, I think, National League teams has a larger roster of high-quality playoff caliber teams in the American League by maybe a couple more. Definitely don't see the Braves and Phillies making the playoffs, both of them. So someone's not making it. Maybe both of them don't. 
So with that win, to even the series three games apiece, the Braves are six and four. Actually, they're tied with the Mets right now at six and four. We're playing game seven. Ten games in, hitting 307 with a 466 ERA. We already have Hank Aaron with six homers. <laughs> um, yeah. Phil Necro's 0 and 3, by the way, giving up 14 runs in 22 innings. So that's probably why, you know, that would give the Braves hope. If Necro bounces back from that, they should be able to be more productive. The Phillies are 5 and 6, scratching and clawing. They lost their first series. Maximum number of games by one. They'll do the second, win or lose in this one. Also hitting 302 over 300 as a club, a 426 ERA. We have some, the Luzinski's 20 for 45. That's excellent for him. Lefty is 2 and 1 with an ERA, 7 runs in 25 innings. A good start for him. 106 games in. The league's hitting 264 with a 383 ERA. That's it today from Atlanta. We'll put the results of Game 7 at the end of this video. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you next time. Well, baseball fans, Game 7 was pretty disappointing. Steve Carlton against uh, Pat Jarvis. Philly was thinking they are going to win this thing, but no, no, no. Hank Aaron and other ideas. Three on homer in the first inning. Four runs. Another run in the second inning. And then after an error, a through run homer by Dusty Baker. Another home run by Hank Aaron. Uh, Atlanta just, you know, unloaded on the guy who happened to be on the mound today. Off their own card. And unfortunately, it just happened to be Steve Carlton getting his ERA and his ego bruised mightily here. Phillies again make it, try to make it close to the ninth in the later innings. It's a 9-6 final. The Braves needed to win games 6 and 7 at home. And they did just that. They win the series four games to three, and the Braves have a half game lead on the Mets. Phillies have lost two series by an individual game. Playing well, though. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you next time.